That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition, best principal Wells. So if, so if she didn't sign it, I believe this would be a, a, a different letter. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Just please don't accidentally delete his hard drive or anything. Like you can't rewind and fix it. I don't <laughs> want to make it a habit, okay? Whatever, crackhead. You're hooked. Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. Uh, I think Chloe's the one that's, that's hooked here. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Yeah. Look at this pile. <laughs> You're not going to search it. You're just going to stare at it and go, mm, maybe not there. Tumbleweeds. Nothing in there. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. 3.7 GPA, Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record in a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. GPA 2.8? Max? <laughs> As she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update, despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Maxwell showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there's an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed, which would also be different if we didn't save Kate. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Also 3.9, Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. <laughs> Warren is the 4.0. Considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell, he has the gift or curse of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues toward his bright future. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Look everywhere, Max. There has to be some info in the student files. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. 
Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. This is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that is all we can do from now. Thanks for your help. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. <laughs> GPA 1.7 Chloe! <laughs> Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. <sighs> Rachel is another 4.0 GPA. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Whiskey bottle? I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's got a glass there too. He just hides it in the corner. And that's the bird. Okay. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Mm -hmm. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. <laughs> it's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Chloe? Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? <sighs> or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Chloe. <sighs> you really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but <sighs> I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. Yeah. But yes, Moral Max is right again, I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue.
I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. I know. You shouldn't, though. Do I even want to? Yes, I do. Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mr. Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for the, his files. Nathan has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of this situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Expunged record. Dear Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're certain this must be a mistake, otherwise we fear we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged disciplinary warning report. Look at that creepy picture. Blackwell incident report. Following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott, there seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class, cursing as English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempted theft of campus Topanga statue. And this is, apparently this drawing is all Rachel in the dark room over and over. David Madison and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule. In Mr. Madison's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madison was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this... And given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. He has been taking photographs. And he's denying it, so he knows it's wrong. Don't know what that is. All right. That impish look scares me. Mm -hmm. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did <laughs> you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. That's not what she wants. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Go otters. Otters and Bigfoots. Boys or girls? Mm, girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. <laughs> Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. I admit I'm a goofball and misplaced my Felix Wynn swim goggles. If found, eternal gratitude and a $25 Bean Pips Cafe gift card. 
I hope the otters will survive. The Earth can't wait. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Aw, desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class. My tablet has private pics of my late cats. Rest in peace. I will pay a cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info now, please. Can I? No, can't get in there. At least not that way. Sock? Where does that other sock go? <laughs> Otters eat beavers. The wit, it burns. <laughs> Kate's locker. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Hmm. Maybe she thought about it. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want? They shouldn't be. Not with school money. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Brooks Locker. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Oh, I hope she freaking gets to. Warren's an idiot. <laughs> Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. I didn't check this side. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Aww. Go fuck your... Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. All right. Victoria Chase rules. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Missing persons poster. Sorry, Rachel. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Rachel abides? I hope so, friend. Dear Kate, I don't care. Well, we care, dickhead. God. Great. Alright, which side? Okay, Chloe's there. some of this be in the pool since the day is over like when they put when they roll out the cover that's the back door that's not what I wanted guest list looks like I'm the vortex club bouncer decisions decisions Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Oh, no. Who did you cross off? Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Who did you cross off? I hope it wasn't just some random person. Okay, could have sworn. All right, maybe. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Shark. Is this... 
69 reasons to bang Rachel. Yeah, this is the guy's room. Bros will be bros. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. <laughs> and it needs a baby daddy. No, she she really doesn't. She really, really doesn't. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. <laughs> Max is a feminazi. Welcome to 1950. Are the men's stalls bigger than the women's stalls? I love Warren. I bet you do. <laughs> we had three. The ladies' room had three, and this has two. No worries. It's all bad. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, way to be uplifting. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Nathan's locker. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Diazepam, reciprodone, 15 milligrams. That's not a high dosage, don't think. This must be for training kids. Hold on. A reciprodome can, dis can treat schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and irritability caused by autism. Medication can help you think clearly and take part in everyday life. Belongs to a class of drugs called atypical antipsychotics. Diazepam is used to treat anxiety, alcohol withdrawal, and seizures. Medication works by calming the brain and nerves. Belongs to a class of drugs known as Benzodiazepines. Okay. Alright. So Nathan clearly does have some mental health issues. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? <laughs> Victoria Chase. Hey, thinking bad things about you. Cool. What are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot. What are you wearing? I'm in my locker room only wearing a jersey sitting on my football. Warren's locker. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Do you have to ask the question? You know he likes you! Jacket. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Alright, when did we- I guess we came in that way? I can't go out this way? Zachary's jersey? No way am I touching Zach's jersey. <laughs> Cody's. Alright. Logan's locker? I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole. I still care about you, love Logan. Eh, she's moved on. Sex me up. Boy's locker room is right. All right, I don't get out of here. All right, I think we've gone full circle. Except... In case I run out of air, I know where to come. We haven't looked in here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Hmm. Control cabinet. Oh. Now I have the power over light and death. Okay, so Chloe's probably gonna send us in here to turn some stuff on. So the big plan is win. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And that's the exit. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Is it real? And then that's outside where we were. Okay, all right, we've come full circle. Oh, 
Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Okay. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Already found. Oh, someone came prepared. She had this plan the whole night. Can I talk to you or what? Oh, you're just going to jump in. Time to do or die, Max. I can smell that glory. Don't really need the phone anymore, do you? Oh yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! <laughs> Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. <laughs> you know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. <sighs> Thank God. But what if I had? What if? Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? That's probably true. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Yeah, <laughs> Warren's nice. You're the bro killer, gross. Ew. I don't want any Blackwell bros over me. There's a couple cute guys there, but they probably think I'm a total nerd. Uh, nerds are hot. You just don't have any confidence yet. Unfortunately, that didn't come with my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Aww. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping <laughs> instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Max clearly has undiagnosed anxiety. 
There's all these comments about... Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You did? You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! <gasps> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Am I not want that? Wait, am I going the right way? Oh fuck. Chloe! Move, Max! Don't waste your power on getting busted! Are you shitting me? Oh god. Wait, who came in the back? Who all's here? Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. Hide where? Where the I fuck? could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Oh god. Hello? Oh god. Where am I trying to go? Obviously not that way. Okay, shit. Hello? If I I need to go right that there? way, right? I need you to come in this room so I can get past you, right? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. Who is this? Serious. Wait. I gotta rewind? Do I need to actually find a hiding spot? Can I hide in here? No? Where am I supposed to be going? Where are they? What am I supposed to do? Hello? Oh shit. Shit! Chloe's hiding there. Oh, now I have to find another spot. Max, no room, dude. Go find another place to hide. Okay, I actually Hello? need to find a spot. That's not a spot. Is there a locker I can shove myself into something? What the hell? Where am I supposed to go? Where are they? Where am I supposed Hello? to go? Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Just stand here. Should Hello? be fine, right? Anybody there? Stay back. Better next. not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. No, you didn't. Now, do I need to get past? Who's him? here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Okay, so I think I just need to hide. I think I just need to stand here. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. You heard nothing. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Do we wait or do we go? Oh shit, don't come back in, don't come back in, don't come back in. Chloe, what do I do? Okay. <laughs> we are so invisible. Let's bail. But yeah, people are telling Kate, get over yourself and get some confidence and- Wait! Turn around! They're coming! We have to find another way out! It's oh, like this that's- bullshit! Not something you can, you can go just back do. To your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive! Crash at my place tonight! You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay! <laughs> Into the car! 
You think he doesn't know that's your car? Max, duck down. Yeah, they, they went. Yes, we so are. They went too fast. Yeah, okay. I was like, David totally knows that's your car. But I, I think they got out of there too quickly. Although, wouldn't he know her? Well, depending on when he left. He might be living on campus, so who knows. I was like, he might have noticed his car, her car was there and then back. Take selfie? Always remember this moment. Photo bomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. <laughs> like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Mm. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. With the sidewalk and the pigeons and my window reflection. The mask I polish in the evening while the morning looks like shit. No, you have a heavy heart. I can feel it when we kiss. So many men stronger than me have thrown their backs out trying to live. Yeah. But me, I'm not a gamble. You can count on. Love, I saw you in the evening by the morning, won't exist. 